today we got a cool piece that we're going to be showing you guys. It's the Palmer Grand Audition Mark II. So really cool piece. I know a lot of you guys won't really have a use for it. We're going to be using it a lot for demos and uh, for the YouTube channel and everything, mainly for demos at our shop. But just wanted to show you, just very well built, very clean looking piece. So what you've got over on this side is you end up having your uh, 16 outputs. And they are 16 outputs. They can either be 16 independent mono, or you can end up having eight stereo channels that you can actually select and switch through. So as simple as either hitting the button or the app that we're going to show you soon. Then over on this side, you have eight outputs that are going to be used for subwoofers. So you could end up having line array, whatever you want for this one, and then listen to eight different subwoofers if you want. Two different modes, you can have it to where it is an individual mode, to where you can end up having uh, every single one of these on at the same time, or you can have it to where as soon as you press a button, it releases and goes to the other, which would make more sense for a demo. But if you did want to stack things, I guess you could, if you wanted to hear like one, two subs, three subs, whatever you want to add, doing the cardioid, just making a difference. So um, you can operate it from the front. It's a little bit easier to actually operate through the web-based app, which is nice. You do have a volume control here that you can use. And if you hold that down, it'll actually change the input from the local input here to the player. And the player we'll show you on the back is actually a pretty cool device that's on there as well. We'll show you if your signal is clipping. As far as inputs, you just have the two XLR and then you have some USB that's on the back. But really cool unit, very clean, two rack spaces. We're gonna rack it up. We just wanted to leave it out to actually show you the cool orange color that they chose. So we've got power on the back, and I just noticed it's actually selected to 230, but still working on 110, which is kind of neat. But you also have a USB um, mini, it looks like, that would be for service. You have a plain USB that we have a flash drive in, Ethernet out to go into a router or straight into a computer. And then you have this XLR in and out, which is actually to link multiple of these units. You can have up to three of these in conjunction to do just a massive demo of a lot of line array if you ever wanted to use it. So we're coming out, going into this little guy, a uh, little router that's pretty cool. We'll do a video on these two. They're not something that actually transmits a long way, but it's a pocket router. You can fold up the antennas real easy, super small. And just compared to my hands, you can tell it is extremely small. And they also have a little SD card where you can put information to where people can get it. And it's internet version protocol six, which is really fast as well. So basically you just hook up the ethernet cable into your LAN port, come out of here. And then the next part we're gonna show you is going to be based off of the app. And uh, I'll try to talk about some setup too. So we'll go in, look at a computer and then just look at my iPhone. All right, so the first thing you'll have to do is go into your wireless settings and we are going to switch over to the router that we have hooked up to that. And I just had to do some stuff for the board of nursing, so sorry for all this junk on here. But once you're connected here, I think I've got this thing pulled up. Actually, let's put it here. So I've changed our IP address here to 192.168.1.15. And so our password is lowercase admin, and so is the username. And you can change that into the settings. So that allows you to get into here. But the thing that I do want to show you before I switch over to my phone is on user. When you get in here the first time, uh, you can change your password, which is nice. But the biggest thing that we needed to do was on devices. I wanted to change this IP address. So from out of the gate, it comes with this massive manual, which I was kind of surprised. It's a big one, but it is in a lot of languages, which kind of makes, uh, makes a little more sense. So when you're in here, it clearly tells you that this thing is set to uh, 192, I'm trying to find it on here, reading through my phone. I'll pause it, find it, and then read it. Here it goes. So the device itself is set up at a 192.168.2.99 out of the box. So you have to set up, and it even shows your IP address to 192.168.2.1 and a subnet mask of 255, blah, blah, blah. So you can either go through and do wired and uh, probably the easier way to do it and uh, internet version protocol four or six, whichever one works for you. And it was a little cold out there, so I ended up just changing the LAN settings on my actual 
router. And then once I was able to do that, I was able to go in to get to this menu. And then I changed the IP address to the 192.168.1.15 because we leave most of our routers in that uh, default gateway. That way it's just a little bit easier and faster for us to be able to do everything. So once we've got all that set up, I can actually go into my phone and show you all the settings. All right, so now we're on the screen. You will go into your Wi-Fi, make sure we've got this little guy's 5G testing in the audio room, make sure you're on it, and then go back to Safari or whatever you want to use. It can be on Android or Apple, doesn't really matter. It's all just IP based, so pretty cool. So then we've got our 192.168.1.15. When we go there, it's going to ask you to log in. And then once you're logged in, here is what the surface actually looks like, which is really cool. So if you notice, we've got our 16 mono channels that are right here. If you want to go into uh, your devices, you can switch it to stereo. And then once you st switch to stereo and go to channels, now everything is paired into stereo channels. And you have eight of those, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into uh, mono here. That way it'll be good for us. It also gives you your XLR gain, negative six, all the way up to positive 20. And from your phone or from whatever device, it can be a computer, you can also switch back and forth between XLR and your player, which is nice. So I'm switching it here and I'm seeing it switching it on the office computer as well, which is kind of cool. So you can have multiple devices at the same time. So one device could just be controlling the uh, music and one device could be switching. So log out just lets you log out. Your channels are gonna be, all the top ones will be for your line array, speakers, whatever you're demoing. The bottom ones will be for the subs. You can also name those if you want to. So you can go into a pretty detailed thing if you want to, but hopefully you won't have to do that. So then uh, that, if I'm not mistaken, is under devices, I can't remember. Oh, there it is. So it's under volumes. So where it says channel one here, you can actually hit edit and we could change that to RCF 935 or whatever, which actually might do this because we're about to do a video. So we'll just go ahead and change these. So it's going to be RCF 910. This one is going to be RCF 912. And this will be RCF 915. So this might be giving away a video we're about to do. So that'll be good. Sweet. So we've got those there. And then when you actually go back into channels, you have RCF 910, 915, and whoops, 2 is down here, which is interesting. So I have to see if we can change that around. So uh, actually, you know what? It shouldn't be 2. That makes sense because we are in mono. So I would truly need to change. Uh, that would be 1, 3, and 5. So I need to change this guy to the 912. And this guy to the 915. Sweet. So now that's got that going. Then we'll go back to the channels. We'll have the 910, 912, 915, and I'll go back and fix that later. So then the player, this is a very interesting part. So I've just saved some tracks that we've actually done uh, live recordings of, and you can just click on it. Then we hit play, and then you can fast forward down here at the bottom, and this is in hours instead of minutes, which is pretty crazy. So we've got our volume up and going here. And I'm going to go ahead and select a speaker, and it would be playing if I had the speakers powered out there. So it's really that easy to just kind of check it out. And if we've got that guy going, and we end up adding this, and it's kind of hard to get to on some of these things, but if you end up turning it into this mode, you have a whole lot more stuff that you can view here. So a little bit easier to get to everything. And you can also get your player and get to things so it just kind of changes the viewing of it so really neat piece kind of excited about getting to use it and we'll go out here and just make a short video of how it works and uh i thought it was making some little glitching of sound as it switched between them but i don't know if that's more the speaker or this piece because when you're switching with no audio going you don't hear anything but since this is just for a demo it's not a big deal at all it's not a switcher that you would use for any type of uh, shows or anything for switching between consoles. We have the XTA pieces for that, 
but just really neat and uh, a lot of little options that are on here too. So if you ever do change your IP address, remember you'll have to actually type in the new IP address to get back into here. So cool little piece. We're really excited about it and we'll go out there and just record for a second a few things and uh, let you see how it does. And one thing I did forget to show you over on volumes, the volumes here are actually for each one of the outputs. So if you needed to get everything as just similar as possible, this would be the place to do it. And you can just take it, move it around, and uh, get everything to where it sounds correct and also looks correct on a dB meter. So really hard to get things perfectly level matched, if that's even the thing with quotations around it, because you have, like we're about to do a 10, 12, and 15 demo. And a 15 can produce much, much more lower frequencies than a 12 or a 10 can. So just not very fair on the comparisons because you would, on a dB meter, be getting more dB, especially if you're A or C weighted, depending on what you're doing. And it's just not really as fair. So we're going to go back to the live thing and let you guys take a look. All right, so we have the RCF 910, 912, and the 915 that are going here. And then we've got this little guy. So we can either play music directly into here, or I can actually just cue up the inside. So I'm just going to get off this video, and I'm just going to cue it up from my phone and let it play, and then just show you guys how we can switch. So right now we're coming out of the 910. And then we can switch. We'll be at the 912. No one there the to raise them. If you did, then you have volume control over here. So this was real interesting. This was a friend of mine, Patrick Reed, and they had vibraphones, steel guitars, all sorts of instruments, and violins. But yeah, pretty much does its job. And then we'll go back and we'll do the audio with the screenshot to show you can do from it as well. We're going to be switching and you'll hear a difference. Got a multi and you can hear them all. Lots of phasing. It's gonna be long, long time. But real easy to use. So overall thoughts, this thing is really cool, especially for the price and what it does. It'll be great for us. I know not everybody has a use for these type things, but if you do let us know, we have been a dealer for Palmer for a while. We really like all their stuff. We actually like pretty much anything that that group makes. So the same group ends up doing Gravity, Palmer, uh, LD, Sound, a lot of other things. I'm not even thinking about too, a bunch of rack accessories, but pretty cool. So uh, if you guys like this, please hit like and subscribe and uh, just give us a call if you need anything. Have a great day.